A chance for these two teams to get their hands on some silverware in this competition. It's match day one and it all starts here. Don't go anywhere. All the action coming up next. Hello and welcome. This is a stadium that really resonates with every Australian football fan. We're in Sydney at Stadium Australia. My name is Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the group stage for these two nations here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's Sweden against Italy. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's the starting 11 for Sweden. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And the Italy starting 11. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And the match is underway. Just the challenge that was required. Anderson. to Bonansea and in with a real chance and a goal that is a very bright start perfect way to open well here's the replay and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back and the finish is really good she just smashes that past the keeper that's a top quality goal Back underway, 1-0 it is. Sophia Jakobsson. Amanda Illestet. Philippa Angeldahl. Interception to snuff out the danger. Illestet and Aslani Elin Rubinson Angeldahl and strong play here and getting the better of a marker can't miss surely oh there it is a back and forth sort of match now they're level again the lead lasted nearly minutes 
Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And when through on goal, she makes no mistake. She just hits it so cleanly and with power. That's a great finish. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Cernoia, Elisa Bartoli, there to win it back. Well, let's see if something comes of this. And the cross has promise, under pressure. And a fine stop. They favoured a short one here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Boatin. Barbara Bonansea. Crossing possibilities. And that is how to block. Kosovari Aslani moving into the advanced position shot attempted oh really close just over the top Linari, Elisa Bartoli. Oh, well, they have it again. And support available, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Bonansea. Oh, fancy footwork. Tirelli! And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Angledal. Great block. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. And played short. The outcome is a goal kick here. Good tackle. Barbara Bonansea. Well, visionary passing. And there it is. She's only gone and made it a hat trick.
Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Just the challenge that was required. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Will they profit from this situation? Oh, a vital interception. Not a great challenge. Free kick here. Well, some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card, but no booking on this occasion. Terrific free kick, and how well the keeper did to parry it. <laughs> Elects to go short. Applying vigorous pressure. Well, possibilities in the centre. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, the stats confirm what we've been seeing. Italy haven't controlled the play so far, but what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. And attempting the through ball. And a goal! Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Read it superbly to take back possession. Elisa Bartoli. On to Caruso. It might be. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Good physical play. Firing it towards goal. And that's a straightforward stop. Excellent first touch under the circumstances there. And take it away. Rubenson. On to Ericsson. Well, far from the ideal pass. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. So now a corner. And over it comes. Well, the danger is still there. Spot on with that tackle. Eriksson. Jona Andersson. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game.
So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Bad pass. Girelli. Well, doesn't have to do it on her own. And let's give credit to the defending. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Well, she's been warned, but not cautioned in this case. Eriksson Filipa Angeldahl A wild effort it was and probably the less said about it the better And they're making a change And support available. A wonderful intervention. Sega. On to Jakobsson. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Well, really, making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. Sweden recovering possession well. Now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Oh, she's given it away. Now, options are plenty. Oh, big opportunity. Well, fantastic reflex action. Splendid defending. Aslani. So, a half an hour remaining. This is looking threatening. Quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped. And following the infringement, a caution. You're no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. And the substitution will occur now. Good efforts here. Watered by the post. And the danger cleared. Well, I have to say, I thought that looked to be going in. It was such a good effort. Stina Blackstenius. Really vital interception. Caruso on to Girelli making progress 
but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending bodies forward and the break looks on all hands on deck it might be and a goal here there it is they've done it Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Now moving the ball impressively here. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. There's 20. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Rolfe and Aslani well, is it going to end up being productive for them a very effective clearance Fridolina Rolfe it's a neat move And a throw in for Sweden. Top class defending. Well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Really good challenge. Well, doesn't have to do it on her own. Spot on with that tackle. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. And fired against the crossbar. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Now a short corner here. And an effective clearance. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Carolina Sega. On to Aslani. Stina Blackstenius. Breaking at pace. Oh, she's given it away. Surely! What will happen next? Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. Goal! 
Neither side shy about shooting in this match. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Jona Anderson has the strength to hang on to it. And possession given away. Nicely cut out. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Oh, a smart stop. So two substitutes to come on in one go. Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser. Well, it might still work out for them. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. The running room in the wide position. And a no-nonsense clearance. And that'll be offside. Now, who can she pick out? And that will be that, the final whistle. And it is a tale of misery for them. Not the result they were hoping for. Stuart, your analysis. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances. Could have gone either way.